So you've played a couple of matches, learned the game, maybe regenerated already, and you've watched my basic titan guides. Now it's the perfect time to take your game to the next level with more advanced stuff. We start with the big one. Mastering this technique will separate the good from the bad rune in pilots. You can avoid the damage from someone pulling out a battery from your titan by phasing. The enemy will simply jump off your titan with a new battery for him, but you will not take any damage. Get the timing down on this one. It is an essential move every Ronin in main should learn. The reload cancel can be useful to get into sword block faster without losing too much time to fire after letting down your guard again. If you hold sword block at this very moment, where the magazine touches the weapon in the reload animation, all your Ronin does is spinning the drum when you let down your guard and you are almost instantly ready to fire again. This can give you an edge in close fights, because every fragment of a second you can get into sword block earlier will keep you alive for longer. After all, Ronin has very low HP and you want to take as less damage as possible. And by the way, you can also use Arcwave to cancel the reload animation. This is useful to keep up the pressure. A Ronin player usually holds the arc wave ready randomly when moving around, just in case he needs it. But if you do not want to put it on cooldown, just press melee and your Ronin will cancel the arc wave animation. Sword block blocks all damage, no matter the direction it is coming from. You do not have to face your enemies. If you need to retreat with Ronin, you do not have to walk backwards. Now this is one of the most difficult techniques a Ronin pilot can pull off. You can use melee while in phase. Master Ronin pilots will anticipate the enemy titan's position while he is blind himself and already press the melee button while in phase, connecting the hit in the very moment they leave the phase dimension. Connecting a hit like that will catch the enemy titan off guard and is almost impossible to react to. You can suicide yourself if you face into an enemy titan. To avoid killing yourself, make it a habit to always hold sword block while face dashing through opponents. It will save your life a lot of times. You can place electric smoke while phasing. Use this advantage to dash through enemies and place the smoke directly on top of them. Now Nuke Eject is one of the more controversial titan perks to use and generally I do not see any use in it because it is very easy for the enemy titans to just walk out of the blast zone. The situation is different though if you have a titan that can keep enemies in place. With her tether traps North Star gets the job done. I say this titan is the only viable one for running Nuke Eject, so use it with her. North Star can hover and while doing that cross over terrain, other titans cannot. Use this to your advantage to change positions or get out of danger. On most maps where there is a small wall, not a building, North Star should be able to fly over it. Try it out for yourself and be surprised about all the new routes you can find.
most players are way too much used to the normal sightlines, but there are actually a lot of little murder holes in the environment. Use the plasma rifle zoom to your advantage and hit enemies from sneaky angles they would not expect to get hit from. Basic Tone Combat Always aim diagonally upwards while releasing rockets. With this little flick over your shoulder, you make sure that the rockets will not hit any cover and actually curve around objects, hitting your enemy and dealing damage. You can also fire the salvoco upwards, then hold the rockets mid-air for a short time, then pulling them down into your enemy's back. Don't let the rockets hit cover, curve them around it. You can actually detach a fire star that is already sticking to your hull with Ion's Vortex Shield. 95% of the time it works if you activate the shield and flick around with your mouse very fast. The shield will kinda pull the fire star away from your hull and then you can just throw it away. Now this is kinda obvious, but I still wanted to include it. Iron is a legion destroyer, period. I still see a lot of people just firing a whole predator cannon magazine into a vortex shield only to use half of the HP in an instant, and that is a lot of damage for a legion. If you are playing iron, try to mind game enemy legions firing into your vortex shield. If you're legion, try to fake shots, so the iron will waste as much energy as possible before you unleash a hail of bullets. When I play Iron, I usually always run around pre-charging a laser shot. That lets me murder pilots left and right all the time. But you do not want to just shoot it into nowhere, wasting that energy. So if you cannot acquire any targets, just use the melee button to cancel that laser shot. You can insta-kill enemy titans with flame core if they are low on health, bypassing Doom State completely. When enemies push you with electric smoke, they often feel safe staying in their own cloud, because they cannot take self-damage. However, you can place your own smoke in theirs, kinda hiding it. This will often lead into a situation where the enemies stay in their smoke and realize too late that they're just taking damage from yours. A very good boost to use in Titanfall 2 is the extra battery. Most people will play it safe and use it right after the drop, so they can then start with the shield on their Titan. However, there's a more smart way to use it. Batteries will not only shield your Titan, but also heal a small amount of health. If you use the battery at full health, that is the situation after the Titanfall, you kinda waste a bit of battery potential here. For gaining maximum usage out of that battery, drop your Titan and fight a bit with it. After losing a bar of health, get into cover and quickly use that battery boost to not only gain shields, but also health back. Just be careful that you do not get ambushed doing this, you're vulnerable during the pit stop. One of the most satisfying ways to kill an enemy is crushing them with a type 4. It will never get old. Not really a tip, more honorable mention, but I wanted to include it. I see a lot of new players using auto-eject or ejecting too early. Do not do it. 
even if in dune state and as long as you keep your distance you can still fight. I played matches where I was around in my titan in dune state over minutes and still scored plus 10 kills with it. That is also why auto eject is such a garbage skill. It would basically waste a full bow of health on your titan and with it a lot of fragging potential. So that's it for this video. I hope you were able to learn something new. It is up to you now to support your fellow pilots and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Titanfall and first person shooter content. Thanks for watching and see you on the Frontier Pilots.